to like warm things up. Like, what's your what's your advice to new entrants at a dressing room? Try and avoid David Warner's spot. I've seen about three people try and sit in David Warner's spot, and you've got absolutely zero care. The bag just gets launched. <laughs> Cameron Green tried to sit there the other day, put his bag there, and he came back. Cameron Green's bag was 10 metres that way, upside down, just sent it. He's just bang, see you, mate. <laughs> what about, what about like, like, you know, damages and repairs to, like, dressing room stuff as well? Because <laughs> there's a moment in the, uh, in the doco where, like, Hedy just flings his bat deluxe. It's in the promo, <laughs> and it smashes into the locker. Like, who's the player in the team that, if they get out, you're all sort of sneaking into the dressing room just subtly just to, just to have a look at the Well, outcomes. I'm the one that does this. So every time they get out, I come in because I want to see the blow up. So I'm usually sitting there with the collar my shirt just waiting for something. <laughs> Steve and Devrell. Yeah, Steve is. Smith. I, I mean, I literally, I, I've, I've said this to him openly. I said, when you get out, I follow you in the change room. I sit there and wait and then use all the ammo that you've given me now in 10 minutes time. Mm. I give him 10 minutes to cool down. And I said... That was one of your funny ones. Mm. That was one of your funny yeah, what's ones. What's the style? Is it v- verbal, physical? Yeah, he starts just, saying things. Nah, that... just verbal, mm. verbal abuse of himself. Right. Yeah. It's Calls himself. Funny. Yeah, it's very funny. Mm. Head get out to that. Yeah. Head get out to that. <laughs> Head get out to that. <laughs> 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 Head get out to that. Head get out Hang him up, Stephen. That's controversial at the moment. Hang him up, Stephen. Honestly, how do you get out to that? 75 overall ball. Head getting out to that. Seriously. And what are you looking for in a SOG master? Like, if you're thinking about handing it over one day, like, I know Steve Smith's taken uh, voice lessons from Guy Sebastian before. Like, is that the kind of commitment you're after? Uh, no. It's fair to say, I don't think we're going... I don't think the SOG master's going that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. Yeah. Definitely not. Um, what do I look for? Uh, a good filler, so I'm struggling at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure there's been plenty of chat about in the dressing rooms, but Alex Carey... Uh, he obviously debuts in this in this doco at, uh, at the Gabba for the Ashes, and then but the main highlight for him was falling in the pool in Pakistan, and averaging about a million after that. So how much air time does that get in the dressing room? That was remarkable. That was very. I mean, geez, I, I actually no, I wasn't down there when it happened live, but I obviously saw heaps. Of, geez, it was hilarious. <laughs> I like his whole bag, like drenched. Yeah. Brilliant. Were you there, Gus? You were. Yeah, you I, were was him. I pushed him. It's <laughs> <laughs> out of shot. It's out of shot, but yeah, it doesn't just give him the old bulls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Alex Cap- Carey's debut. He's wearing a pair of smugglers uh, that feature his face uh, strapped up in the jaw, like uh, around the jaw. Um, you got one of your own pair of smugglers, Marnus. So you feeling a bit left out uh, yeah. around not having your own line of smugglers? Is it something you'd look into? Does it, does it align with your brand? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I love, I love my smugglers. Um, but, I mean, what would you put on it? Yeah, I was just thinking, I don't know. Do you know when Bordy bowled you in Hobart and you'd end up throwing <laughs> that, uh, It probably has to be that, to be fair. <laughs> that, that would if be I'm going to get a, a smuggler set, it has to be the Bordy bowls. Yeah, that's uh, that probably aligns well with the smuggler brand too. Bit of How? It's like Banto, you know, they're all about, you know, Banto. <laughs> You guys went to Pakistan and Sri Lanka during the doco as well. Like, t- Just tell us about the passion of those fans. There's just something about, you know, when you go to... India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, they just love for the game. You know, it's almost ingrained in them. It's not like when you go to England and you walk in England and you know, yeah, we're in England, boo. <laughs> you know, it doesn't, you walk on the field, you're getting booed. You walk off, you get 100, you're getting booed. You know, like, it's just, it's just different atmosphere and that's what makes it so special when you go to, um, yeah, Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka. You yeah. probably you probably rank it like uh, in terms of passion in Asia, like probably Pakistan, then Sri Lanka, then India, just for passion for fans. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. If, you, if you're trying, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're trying not to make fans, <laughs> brilliant. Well, people often say it's Pakistan, Sri Lanka, then the Gabba. Those yeah. are the, those are sort yeah. of big three. Um, obviously, the Olympic city, Brisbane, mm. um, somehow. But are you going weightlifting in that? <laughs> <laughs> we waited 10 minutes for that. Yeah, we were waiting patiently. We were waiting patiently. <laughs>